Right then, another v quick video. I've done the fort bit, working my way up in the valley now, and I'll be going up through there. I'll be going along where, what, what I did not many weeks ago. Well, I don't know now, it could be a good month. It's all recorded though, I didn't come up this far. I branched off up uh, where the pink cottage is and I went up. And I went back that way. I went back to Cheddar that way. quite a hike. I am very glad though that I bought uh, that other big bottle of water which I haven't started yet. Because oh, I'm going to need it mate. Like I said a year ago I was doing a similar walk and uh, I'd, I'd nearly ran out of water at the stage, and which wasn't a good idea. Now I couldn't find anyone in, so I there's someone had a the water tap coming out from the kitchen outside. So I I, I used it to fill up my water bowl. Yeah, at least coming this way is cool. For now. This way is cool. You can't really walk. Right, this is Roeborough Woods. I've had a nice big long walk. I've been taking lots of pictures of the stream rather than videoing it all. They have widened some of the pathway as well down there, I've noticed. Yeah, it's very nice and cool in here. It's quite warm. I'm just starting to get a bit hot. This is Roeborough, everyone. Roeborough Warren. And this is... Um, The babbling brook. I don't know what you call this brook, if it comes from the source of a river or anything, I'm not sure. But I did plan, I've achieved most of what I've wanted to do today. The only problem is I'm a bit worried about the time, because I have been dawdling a lot. I've been taking lots and lots of photos and videos, which I said I wasn't going to do. But you see, this this is a lot lusher than when I came a couple of months ago. It must have been a couple of months ago now. It was um, during the first visit this year to Longwood that I came along here and then I cut up a track further up there. But I think the stream has been released or something because it was very, very quiet and wasn't going all the way down. It had been turned off somewhere, but it seems to be running quite freely. And of course, we have had quite a bit of rain because of the storms. And uh, we're forecast more rain tomorrow. That's why I'm out today. I've been up the Iron Age Fort. I've walked over the back of the Mendips, the area of outstanding natural beauty. Taking those, I can't stop it. 
I keep thinking, Sheila, you photographed. But the thing is, like loads of times, but the thing is, I always find a new angle. I always find... a new place where I'm standing. And it, it, it gives a completely different scene. I didn't really want to rush anything, but I am a, I haven't really paced myself very well on this walk. Because I've been doing so much admiring. Because I've been doing so much admiring and reflecting and pondering and just really enjoying it all. But I'm really going to have to bring Alberta over one day. Not, I can't do it for a couple of weeks. And park her up so that I can... Don't feel under pressure. Because you know what it's like when you've got to get a bus. And the time seems to be shooting by. So that's the stream section done anyway. Then I'll be out into the, the raw raging sun in a minute. All the trees, all the wild garlic has passed now and the bluebells, there's a couple of bluebells. There's other like little flowers that are about as well. So many different walks you can do. If I lived over here I'd be exploring every single different little nook and cranny. But you see the problem is why there's a time problem is the bus doesn't get over here to about quarter past 10. Not if I want to have the free bus. Obviously, I could pay for one way and come over earlier. That's probably what would have been better. Like I did when I went to the Quantox, I actually set off real early so that I started my walk at half eight in the morning. Now that helicopter you hear, see that helicopter? Might go over, I don't know if he will. There's a, that's been hovering and circling for hours, that helicopter has. <sighs> yeah, because what, what I've got to make sure I know what I'm doing, when I get up to the top here, which isn't far to go, I've got to decide whether to turn, carry on, and get back to Cheddar. Or, turn right and go via Shipham and down the West Mendip Way to Winscombe. It's, it's, knowing whether I can get back to Cheddar in two hours from up here. There's no big hills to climb. I mean, I have had um, to do a lot of hill climbing today. There are two sets of cows I've got to negotiate, though. Um, that would be going back through Piney Slights. If I decide to go that way, or well, the alternative is to go through Shipham and Winscombe. Right then, I'm going to turn off for a minute now, the stream's ended. Shall I come back then, everyone? <sighs>